everyone and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I make my granola. It's a basic recipe, so simple and easy. Also, the granola comes out delicious and crunchy. As usual, the written recipe will be listed down below with the video in the description box. Don't forget to follow me on social media, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and press on the bell button so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So first I'm gonna mix the wet ingredients. What I have here is some honey. I'm gonna add to it some vegetable oil. Also, I'm gonna add to it some brown sugar and some vanilla extract. Now all I have to do is to mix everything together very well until all these ingredients are well combined together. I have a nice and smooth mixture. Now I'm gonna move on to my dry ingredients. So I have here some rolled oats. I'm gonna add to it some nuts. So I have here um, some almonds. I roughly chopped them. I'm also gonna add some flax seeds. I also have here some raisins, some pumpkin seeds. And finally, I'm gonna add some cinnamon. Now I'm gonna give these ingredients a slight mix. Now I'm gonna pour in the wet mixture. I'm gonna pour it all in, then I'm gonna mix everything together. Mix it very well, make sure that the oats, the almonds, everything is well coated with that wet mixture, the honey and the oil. First, you may notice that the honey mixture is not enough for the other ingredients like the oats and the almonds, but don't worry, continue mixing and everything will be fine. Now I'm gonna spread them in a baking dish. Uh, make sure that they form um, an even layer. Also, at this point, your oven must be preheated at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's about 150 Celsius. And I'm gonna put them in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes. But every 10 minutes, I'm gonna take it out of the oven, give it a good mix. And that is to make sure that they will roast evenly from all sides. So here, it's after about 10 minutes. I took it out of the oven and I'm just mixing it, mixing everything. Now I'm gonna put it back in the oven uh, for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna remove it, give it a good mix and then put it back in the oven. I'm gonna do this two to three times like until the 40 minutes finish. And this is the final product. As you can see, everything is roasted beautifully. It has a real nice color. It's crunchy and delicious. And as it cools, you wanna keep mixing from time to time so that it doesn't stick and form a big giant piece. And for storage, you can store it in an airtight container at room temperature. So my lovelies, that was it for today's video. I really hope that you give it a try, I'm sure that you will love it. And finally, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'm gonna see you soon in another video. Bye!